Cloud2 currently has a context window of 100,000 tokens. So that means it can interact and it can understand up to 75,000 words all at once. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to upload PDFs onto Cloud and how to interact, analyze and conversate with thousands of text all at once. Let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't signed up for Claude 2 as yet, just head over to Claude.ai and you'll be able to access Claude for completely free. Once you've signed up for Claude, it's very easy to use. You'll enter your inputs within the message section and you'll get your outputs on Claude and you can conversate like any other AI bot. But some of the cooler features that's included in Claude that isn't currently available on ChatGPT is the ability to upload files and to be able to interact with files. So we do have that ability with GPT-4 using plugins, but it's not available on the readily available GPT-3.5 model. So for example, I've downloaded a PDF about climate change, and this is a very, very large PDF. As you can see, I believe it's definitely um, over 50,000 words, that's for sure. And as you can see, this is a very, very long and in-depth document. So this is gonna be perfect to see if Claude can be able to read this content and also be able to answer questions and extract information from this PDF. So first I've told the AI to extract the main points of this PDF, including what is fueling climate change and stats around climate change in 2023. So as you can see, Claude is doing its thing. Most likely it's reading that content and let's see um, how it is going to respond. So here is the output that we got back from Claude. It was able to extract the main points of this PDF. So it's given us that the main points of this PDF is on climate change. The PDF is a background paper from 2003 that reviews studies estimating the global impacts of climate change. It focuses on studies that examine impacts up to the year 2100 and aims to quantify the relationship between global temperature increases and its impacts. Key stats related to climate change in 2023. So it does um, give us that information on 2023 and it does pretty much follow the prompt in which we're able to give it. Let's go ahead and ask it a couple more questions to see um, how deep we can get in terms of research. Next, I've told Claude to summarize the whole PDF into a 1000 word blog post, be as in depth as possible and write in markdown. So it's given us a blog post summarizing the key points from the PDF, examining the global impacts of climate change, what's causing climate change, projected climate changes. So it talks about the impacts on agriculture, water resources, human health, ecosystems, coastal areas, uncertainties, and the bigger picture of climate change. As you can see here, Claude did a really good job at summarizing the whole PDF into a thousand word blog post. It was able to extract the main points, give us some data um, points, and it also was able to give us some key impacts on specific sectors and the overall bigger picture of climate change. So if you're working with a large amount of data or a large amount of text, you can plug that into um, Claude and then you can be able to extract the most important information. The only thing that I would be wary of is to make sure that you have some context on the original um, data or the original text so that you know that Claude is actually extracting the most important information. But if you're doing a lot of research and if you need to kind of extract main information from large amounts of text, Claude 2 would be perfect for you. Next up, I've asked the AI to do something a little bit more creative. I've asked it to take the information from this PDF and turn it into a poem. So here is a poem summarizing the key information from the climate change PDF. The climate is changing, carbon dioxide emissions rising, the globe is warming, no surprising, sea level is climbing higher, greater impacts felt ever nighter. So we got a pretty decent poem here, I would say. Um, I just kind of wanted to see if Claude can be a little bit more creative and take that information and turn that into a poem. And lastly, I've asked Claude to take the information from the PDF and write 10 viral and thought provoking tweets. Climate change is real, the science is real, carbon emissions are driving up global temperatures, there is no planet B. Nature in crisis, biodiversity under threat, as ecosystems destabilize, no species spared from climate impacts. Okay, so we got some pretty um, good tweets here, very thought provoking for sure. And it does include the facts and um, some of the information that we got from that PDF. So I'm very happy with this information. I think Claude 2 may be better than ChatGPT or GPT-4 at um, working with large amounts of text and being able to extract that text. Currently, the largest context window on GPT is GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K, which is 16,000 tokens, which I think is about 12,000 words that you can play around with. But as you can see, there's a clear difference 
um, with Claw 2 compared to um, GPT 3.5 16K because on Claw 2, we have a 100K token limit, which is about 75,000 words. So if you're doing research, I highly recommend using Claw 2 to do so. You're able to extract the most important information and you're able to um, go through your research a lot quicker and uh, play around with large amounts of text and data. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, let me know in the comments below what you've been using Claude 2 for. And let me know if Claude 2 has been better compared to GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 for your specific use cases. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.